Hello guys, this is H from uh, HS Tutorials 101 and uh, I want to welcome you to the first episode of uh, basically HS Tutorials 101. Uh, today I'll be covering uh, on how to use, uh, just an introduction on how to use uh, Motion uh, 5 and uh, today we're going to start out with presets so uh, you don't actually have to do a lot of hard work so we're just going to use uh, a built-in preset, you're just going to edit some text um, probably add some uh, images and um, some music. So um, let's get started. So once you launch up Motion, you want to head over to um, uh, any type of pre any type of uh, actually uh, you could uh, pick any type of uh, template that you have there. And uh, for this one, I'm thinking of choosing uh, decode maybe atm atmospheric. It looks cooler. So you want to hit the open a copy, and uh, once the window opens, once the window opens, um, just get yourself familiarized with this uh, this uh, window style. So let me just show you what you're looking at right now. So uh, on the left hand side, you have your file browser, your uh, library, your inspect, and your inspector. And in the middle, uh, over in the middle, you have your uh, layers, your media, and your audio and at the bottom you have your timeline and uh, in the middle of your timeline and the uh, video player and the uh, layers and media and audio you have your basic tools uh, such as the frame count and uh, of course uh, something called the heads up display which allows you to uh, edit uh, some qu quick stuff such as images and uh, types of uh, video and, um, and uh, text so what you want to do here is uh, also uh, change the text uh, change the way your text is going to be so you want to change the title and for this one I'm going to choose sample tutorial oh yeah and one more thing don't forget to hit the shift Z so uh, you just have to hit escape and hit the shift Z and it'll uh, fit, it, uh, fit the actual window in the uh, video player so don't forget to do that sometimes I do and it gets kind of confusing so uh, next off you want to uh, Type in uh, your subtitle. Once you have your uh, your uh, uh, subtitle up, you uh, you want to add some images and uh, and uh, music. So once you head under the library, you will check out a couple of the uh, photos that you currently have on your computer. But uh, for this one, I'm just going to head over to your uh, to the file browser and pick one off my uh, documents. And I'm going to pick the uh, quick subscribe button and place it over at the end and just move it around right there so basically uh, if you're creating an intro on YouTube it will show up in the end and uh, the, per the person can just uh, click on it if you have it annotated and it'll take you take it take take them to your channel so uh, you could also add a couple of effects onto this image when you head over to the uh, filters uh, you could uh, for example add um, couple of effects and for this one I'm just going to add a quick bad film effect to make it uh, jump around as if it was a bad film and uh, that was just quick and easy so uh, what you could also do next is uh, add the music so uh, under the library you want to head over to music you want to click your song basically and um, for this one I'm just going to use a quick sample of strobe that it works. So you want to hit uh, the strobe on to here next to your video player to add your audio, and um, basically you want to rewind that, and uh, you want to check it out. So once you hit the play button, it will be laggy on start depending on uh, your computer settings. But uh, as you export it, it'll uh, it'll be perfect and crystal clear. But you basically get the point. You can also skim through your timeline just a quick skim through your timeline to check if everything's in place so just sample tutorials and then the subscribe button and uh, as you skim through you see a couple of effects and uh, and video that this template has to offer so guys this has been a just quick uh, really quick easy introduction uh, video on how to use uh, motion 5 and just a quick template so what I do advise you is to play around with the templates uh, get yourself familiarized with uh, what you're doing and play around with the filters and the behaviors and uh, for the next episode uh, 
we'll be uh, heading over to how uh, to use the cameras, the uh, lights, effects, and uh, how to create 3D, um, 3D intros and outros, and uh, 3D animation as well. And as time progresses, uh, we, we will be using Motion, uh, Falca, Proton, and Compressor all together as one. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Please be sure to, to rate this video, give it a thumbs up, and uh, if you have any questions regarding uh, Motion or Final Cut uh, Pro 10, just leave, leave it down below. I'll uh, be sure to answer them. And um, if you haven't subscribed, be sure to subscribe. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to my other channel, which is uh, My Apple Products 101, be sure to subscribe to that one too. It talks about reviews and news about uh, Apple products and uh, a couple of interesting products uh, that I have to offer and a couple of what's in my doc and uh, software reviews. So I'll leave the link below if you guys want to check it out. So uh, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.